Let's go, Adam. Come on, Jake. Come on, Bo. I'm Adam Zavalny, and I'm from Park River, North Dakota. I'm Bo Belquist, and I'm from New Rockford, North Dakota. I'd say being from a smaller town, you definitely learn to work harder. Um, you know, you may not have the opportunities that some other kids have had if they were from like a bigger school. I think what was good about it was I got to play like any sport I wanted, five sports. I mean, you learn so many things from playing baseball and track and doing all these other stuff. So I think like being multi-sport helps where I am today. Yeah, definitely as a younger kid, you know, I had my friends kind of persuading me um, to like NDSU football and I tried to like NDSU football at times just because I wanted to be like my friends, but it just wasn't the thing for me and I ended up kind of just always loving UND, you know, no matter what sport they're playing and I'm thankful that I'm here. Uh, my dad played for NDSU and my uncle played for NDSU, both played receiver, so I mean, I went to games there all the time, was tailgating and all that stuff. So when I came here, I mean, it was kind of big for everyone, but I like to pick my own path and, you know, my family has supported me 100%, every one of them, so I couldn't have asked for a better family. The main reason I chose North Dakota was because uh, it's a big stage close to home and uh, all my family has went to North Dakota, so that's another reason why I chose to come here. Um, you know, North Dakota doesn't really have any professional sports, so a lot of people looked at NDSU or UND as kind of like the main entertainment places to watch sports, and you know, that, that's kind of special, just being a kid from North Dakota and being able to be on such a big stage like that. Well, we're the University of North Dakota, and we say it all the time in our staff meetings, and we share it with a lot of people that if we feel anybody has not the ability to play Division I football, we want to give them that opportunity at the flagship university. UND really stuck out. Um, they, they were super friendly. All the coaches like reached out to me and contacted me all the time, calling me, checking up on me. And I think they just treated me with the most respect and I saw a, a great future here. You know, it's our home state. We think it's very important for us. Guys like Bo Belquist and Adam Zavalny, and you know, there's 25 other guys on the roster that really, really deserve this opportunity to play for their home state institution. And I think it's just really important to recruit your state hard. Let's get better today. A lot of energy focus, but know how we want to practice. Let's go, let's have a great one. Well, with last season, I switched over to tight end, which was a new change for me. Um, just having to learn a lot more of the run game stuff and carry over the pass game. Um, and just making myself very coachable, I think that's helped with a lot of my success and just having the right mindset with everything. I think the pretty much studying the playbook and learning the playbook right away is the most important thing. Um, after that, it's kind of just going out and playing. I mean, the ball's thrown your way, you just gotta try to make a play on it and um, effort. You gotta be working hard all the time and practice and showing the coaches you want it. And, uh, but yeah, I think the number one thing is learning the playbook because if you don't know the playbook, there's no shot of you getting on the field at all. I'd say the main things I've picked up is just do the little things right, make yourself coachable and trust what the coaches have to teach you. And, Really, if you do the little things right, the bigger things will just happen by themselves. I think like being coached is different this year now that I know things. Like I can be coached on littler details which will help during the game and like I think it's just just one year of six games, whatever we played, that that helped so much just getting that under my belt. Uh, you know, it's great to see North Dakota guys out here having success just because you know, you're from a small school, you, you probably have the thought in the back of your head, you're like, you don't know if you can do such like great things on a big stage. Yeah, it's, it's pretty sweet um, seeing these guys from North Dakota that you watched when you were growing up and you played against some of them and it's just cool to see everyone from the same background and same state coming out and playing good, I guess. The more local you are, you get that in your fan base and people really excited about it. So you'll see a big following from New Rockford, a big following from the Park River area. And all those things 
help your program. I really believe that's why it's important to get local guys in your program. Um, it means a lot to play for North Dakota. I mean, I've lived here for, for my whole life. I mean, it's just, I guess, means a lot to play where you were born and represent where you've been playing your whole life. Yeah, I mean, I grew up here my whole life, so it's definitely something special. I came um, as a little kid coming here to watch hockey games, football games, basketball games, so it's definitely something special. Yeah, the open week is, uh, I think, critical to develop the right mindset heading into conference play. It's a mindset heading into the Valley and understanding the, the type of teams that we're going to play. Going into conference play, it's, it's good. You, you're trying to get everyone back and healthy and all those little nicks and aches and things like that. Hopefully those are good to go. You know, I mean, there's, there's a lot of nagging injuries. It's about, you know, kind of just, you know, nursing those and also just preparing. You know, this is, this is not a week we're just taking off. You know, we're still practicing at a high level. You can refocus your mind, uh, get your body right if it's a little banged up during the season. So getting an uh, open week just allows you to just kind of reset and refocus. It's uh, a week where we always want to get our team better, make sure we stay focused on the details and had some practices that we prepared for our next opponent, which is North Dakota State. We always take advantage of that during an open week that you have more days to prepare. Instead of just having like five, six days, now we have 13 days. You know, we already started preparing. You know, we have to get after it in the weight room, get stronger, faster, kind of maintain our strength. You know, the extra practices really help to prepare, maybe throw in some new wrinkles that you haven't put on film. I think that's, that's something that you always, if you have extra time to prepare, that always helps that way as far as your game planning. All right, let's go! Third and six, money down! We just want to take advantage of every day to get our football team better and to help to prepare them better. So we'll see. You know, we got a lot of work to do yet because we want our guys physically prepared and mentally prepared. And then you got to be at the right emotional level on Saturday at 205. But we've got a lot of room for growth on this team, and I think uh, if our guys commit to that and focus on that, I think we can be a pretty successful team this fall.